This is a guide on how to deploy your website to GitHub Pages. I'm creating a new repository to demonstrate this. When deploying your website to GitHub Pages, you can use the free domain name they provide, or you can use a custom domain name, which I will demonstrate at the end. For the free domain name, your repository name matters. All free URLs will start with your GitHub username .github.io. Let's call this the main URL. So to use the main URL, you must name your repository your GitHub username .github.io. This is the required format GitHub expects. If you use another format, your repository name will just be added on to the main URL. For example, if I name my repository test-project, my free URL will be my GitHub username .github.io slash test-project. For this example, I will continue with a project website. Make sure your repository is marked as public as this is required for the GitHub free versions. And now I'll press create. I am starting with a simple example. This is for people building their websites with just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If your website uses React or anything else that first needs to be compiled, built, or bundled, you can just skip ahead to the next example. I just pushed up an HTML file called index.html. The name of this file is important as it tells GitHub that this is the page we want people to see when they visit our project URL. This file just displays hello world in an h1 tag, but your website can have some CSS and JS as well. Now let's go into our repository settings and select the pages tab. All we have to do is select the branch and folder where our index.html is located. My file is located in the main branch and I selected root since my index file is not nested in any folders. After pressing save, select the actions tab at the top. In this tab, you can see your website getting deployed. Once it is finished, you can now visit your project URL. GitHub will also watch for any changes you push into your branch. I'm going to change some text in the HTML file and push up my changes to the main branch. On my project page, I can see that my website is redeploying. And after about a minute, my deployment is done. My code change is now showing up on the live website. It can take a couple minutes after deployment for your changes to show up. Let's move on to an example using React. If you are using another web library or framework, the deployment process should be similar. Now I am running the create react app script. This is just a quick way to create a pre-configured React project. The command finished and in the package.json we have some helpful scripts. We are interested in the build script since that will create the production ready code we need and the build script outputted a warning message saying that it assumed our project will be hosted at the root directory. This is a confusing message, but it just has to do with where React is telling GitHub to find our files. Our files will not be at the root directory of the GitHub server. I am setting the homepage prop to a period. This will just tell React to use relative paths instead. The build script also outputted a build folder containing an index.html file. This index file will be the landing page of our website. We don't want to push up this large auto-generated build folder. It's grayed out since it is listed in our gitignore file. So instead, we will have github run the build command for us. This is the typical best practice. Now, I am ready to push up the React project. Our code is pushed up, and like I mentioned earlier, we did not push up the build folder. Head over to your repository settings and select the pages tab. Select github actions from the dropdown. We are going to create a GitHub workflow to build and deploy our website. I'm starting with GitHub static HTML template. This template already has most of what we want, such as running when someone pushes to the main branch. It will not work for our React project because our project first needs to be built. Search for node in the marketplace and copy over the boilerplate code for setting up Node.js. There are many configurations here, but I am just setting the node version to something compatible with my project. If you press on the view full marketplace listing, you can see more documentation. The marketplace also has other GitHub actions that might work well with your app, so I recommend taking a look. I will just copy over the first example for running npm commands. Now to build my project, first I will run the npm ci command to install the existing dependencies. Then I can run my build script. We saw earlier that the build script would generate a build folder that contains our index file. I will update the path to point to the build folder. And finally, we can commit this file. Head over to the Actions tab to see your website deploying. Once it is done, your website should be live. And just like our first example, anytime you push to the repository, your website will be redeployed. 
Lastly, I will show you how to use a custom domain. There are different ways to set this up, but I will demonstrate the most common way. Say you purchased a domain name called noviceai.com, and you wanted this to be the domain name for your repository. First, go to the website where you purchased the domain, then find where you can configure the DNS settings for your website. You want to add A records that point to GitHub's IP addresses. Next, you want to add a CNAME record that points to your GitHub username .github .io. Do not include the repository name in this URL. Head back to your repository settings and select the Pages tab, and just set your custom domain name. It can take anywhere from 5 minutes to several days for your custom domain name to go live. Thank you for watching. That wraps up this tutorial.